Oh, yeah, it's just me. Um, so going up against Arizona, the running backs, do they got, do you have three guys who can hurt you? Can you break them all down and who stands out to you? Um, you have uh, a freshman, uh, that was the guy's name, he's number eight, uh, I can't remember his name. But he's a, a great running back, man. He's been the most productive back in my eyes right now. Then you have a power back, uh, Cameron Marshall, man. He uh, he killed us a little last year and everything. Then you have uh, number one, I forget, I forget his name too, but uh, he's a pretty good back too. All of them are very great backs and all capable of uh, making a big play, home run threat and everything. We just got to come out and be a Simon Sound and just uh, stop the run like we've been stopping. What about the quarterback too, Kelly? I mean, he seems been pretty efficient. Is, I mean, is there anything special what you've seen from him? Or? Oh yeah, he's a great runner. I mean, he can make plays with his feet. I mean, quarterbacks like that are they're dangerous for defenses. Uh, he just, uh, I mean, if you have a man in your zone who's open, and when the quarterback scrambles, you just got to go out and uh, man him up and everything. And uh, he can make, you just got to get uh, pressure to the quarterback. Now, uh, your coach, Trent Bray, has some obviously some history with ASU. What has that kind of conversation been like throughout the week? Has he said anything about going up against him? Oh no, he hasn't said anything about it. I mean, yeah, he just got, he got treated like a normal game for us. Uh, He's gave us a lot, a lot of motivation, a lot of uh, key tips and everything, like he's been doing a lot every other game. But uh, most of all, he just can't, told us to come out and just dominate. Uh, I mean, how, how do you feel like the team has responded coming off the you know, loss against Washington? Yeah. I mean, people, uh, the team is feeling great right now. Uh, we came back, uh, watched the film on Sunday and everything, learned from it. And that was the biggest thing, is learning from our mistakes. And uh, the team came out, came out with the hill uh, high and everything, and uh, came out and had a great week of practice. Do you feel like, I don't know, I mean, is it has it been tough to kind of move on from that as a game that you know, in a lot of people's eyes, that you should have won? Yeah, I mean it's been kind of tough, man, because it was uh, if you break it down, it was only probably about four or five plays that uh, we didn't capitalize on. If we would have stopped it, I mean uh, we we would have won. Uh, but yeah, I mean it was kind of tough at first, but I mean it happens, man. You just got to come back and. Uh, when you uh, come out and dominate your battles. Uh, so you're going to try and give yourself a, a late birthday present this Saturday? Uh, yeah, got to get yeah, gotta get this win. I mean, if this, uh, if this win, if we get this win, I mean, it'd be a great birthday present. Um, and you're, you, man, JP, uh, still don't know, maybe play, maybe not. Not looking too good right now. Uh, how does the defense have to adjust if he doesn't? Oh, just got to respond, man. Somebody has to step up, man. JP, I mean, he's a great athlete and everything, but uh, if he can't go, we're going to have to move on and someone's going to have to step up. Uh, Sean Martin is behind him right now, and he's doing great right now. I'm like that.